Man, oh man, it is February 22nd. Syracuse, New York. The temperature outside is 70 degrees. <laughs> Boy, that didn't last long. <laughs> it's, it's 20 degrees out now and it's winter again. And the boys are caught by surprise down there. Huh. I guess we'll just have to go in and in the garage and work on the trailer inside. All right, let's go. When I put my solar panels on uh, a year and a half ago, two years ago probably now, I used these locking hasps that I figured if I wanted to take the solar panel off, I could just raise them up and it would, it would come off and I could put it somewhere to point it towards the sun more. But I've decided um, I don't, I've never done it, never used that. And these are kind of a pain and they're wearing on the, on the frame because it's right on the frame. I didn't put any kind of a spacer on it, which I probably should have. Um, so I'm gonna change it to using just a regular angle bracket that you can get uh, in any home store for this is for putting two by fours on a wall or something to, to stabilize it. These little things, they're uh, flat on the inside of the aluminum, so they don't take up any room. They work really good, too. Okay, I've decided on the tall ones. I've decided the short ones just weren't long enough. And this is going to be high, kind of raised up a bit, but I don't think that matters. Um, it's not above the the bubble window, so uh, it's not like it's going to be catching the wind or anything. And it's nice to be able to clean under it, so uh, the water won't collect or the leaves and stuff won't collect, so I don't mind it being high. One of the things I notice is if your trailer's like mine, it's got this this line here, these lines. And if you put a screw in this, you want to be on this line or below. If you're above these lines, you're going to be in the roof. This whole upper section is roof. This is the top. These lines, this is all roof. So if you put a hole in here, you're in the roof. Or you're too close to the roof to, to put any bolt or nut or anything on there. So you want to be below these two lines. And that's what I've done here. On this, I've put the screws down here below these two lines. So. This is a good thing, uh, good solid. This isn't going anywhere. And now, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp the solar panel onto this, like this, and drill through the holes in the angle into the, so to line up the screws again. I got I did have to take my drill and enlarge these holes a little bit so that they uh, fit the screws I had. But that wasn't a big job. As before, I'm using these little T-nuts. These are pretty cool. They're called T-nuts. And um, they have little spikes on them, little tiny spikes. Those show up. 
And I'm just bending those down because otherwise they're supposed to go into supposed to go into wood. But I bend them down so they go on the back side of the aluminum and are flat. So now they're flat. In behind. Now we're going to drill through this cross member into these brackets. And what I've done is I've put clamps on these. I've got to adjust this one up a little bit. I put a block of wood under here so I won't go through to the trailer. And I will do the holes up here. screws on top. Couldn't find any bolts that are this small. So we just strip. I'm using rather tiny screws. They're uh, Number 10s by 24s. Uh, I don't think there's much real stress on this since it's in the down position most of the time. It only goes up when there's when I'm using it. So. And I'm using nylon stop nuts. Nylon stop nuts. They are you know kind of a cap cap nut. They have uh, nylon inside them. So that they hold on. Now we just have to go do the other side, and we're done. It's pretty easy. Now, because this bracket is lined up with this, as opposed to this bracket is beyond the edge, this is very sensitive to how long the screws are or they'll rub on this. 
as you can see there's some rubbing from the prior um, in installation which is another reason I'm changing this but you want to use the smallest shortest screws you can and I'm using a 3 8 inch screw you focus on that a number six 32 3 8 inch screw and that goes into that the neat thing about these little these little T things is that they go into the hole so the screw doesn't have to come out the other side So this is what we've got. We've got these nylon screws underneath. We used Phillips head screws on the top. These are all in place. <laughs> this one screws a different one than the other ones. I'm going to change those out. I don't know why I used old screws. But, um, same here. Oh, I'm short one screw. I got to put another screw in yet. I remember that. I did put, um, a spacer on plastic, uh, that I cut out of a top of a tote, a cover from a green tote. Um, that's a spacer in there. To uh, give it a little more space out from the from the board, and that is probably the best way to do the solar panel if you're going to put a solar panel on an A-liner because it's it's mounted nicely with brackets on the side of the roof, and it's not going to go anywhere. I originally didn't do that because I was afraid it was going to get stolen like that, but I think if they want to steal it, they can steal it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I'll put somewhere up over here um, the original solar panel install you can see more of that if you're interested but uh, more good videos coming up summer's coming <laughs> the weather's getting better thanks for watching